Amen. Amen. Thank goodness. I made it. I'm here. And yeah, so hopefully since I'm here at the shelter, you know, it'll be refreshing. Got me some uh, coconut and chia seed water infusion here. And uh, I had to haul up Mount Mimkumbabu Jabu Older Mountain to get here, or whatever it was, with this cart. And I did surprisingly well. So, um, you know, if you want to check the God footage, um, my stamina XP level is very powerfully strong, thanks to my health is wealth skills, and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to get this rig, like, you know, with all my gear, everything I worked for, my life, into a housing situation here at the, uh, yeah, the, uh, mountain north range shelter. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you all so much. You know, it's a golden ray of sunshine out here near the mountains. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I get into housing soon. And just keep strolling along, you know. So I'm not always just pulling a cart up the block to see what's cracking, you know, on each block. Because sometimes, you know, I got to kind of push it a bit differently. And then, uh, yeah, with that, word out. Yes, yeah, so got my uh, shelter needs prioritized. You know, hopefully I do the right thing to get into housing. And, uh... Yeah, so I have a lot of, a lot more hope and a lot more faith now. The way I use that, I need to be humble. I still need to get my uh, laptop charger, so it works as a battery bank, like I say, like I say. Two, also, as well, that'll be beneficial. You know, survival blessings, especially travel blessings, man. And I am so thankful for all the that things are working out so far. You know, amen, amen, so it be. And uh, yeah, like I say, I need to stay grounded. Uh, travel blessings, travel blessings, travel blessings, you know, like for real in God's favor and protection. And uh, yeah, these streets, they be real, man, you know, out here in Boulder. So yeah, hopefully everything works out, and uh, I get to upload these videos eventually here soon, and uh, yeah, safe travels. take this out of the camera with my new AI video programming, coding, anything. Yo, it be your home boy. Nick the script out here on the street live. Cause I ain't got no why. 
looking at all this beautiful uh, uh, creativity around me just simply taking a stroll down the block you know what sometimes it could be stressful cause the sidewalks get to cracking but we got this beautiful freaking amazing brickery with the sun glowing in the background while all the cars traveling you got to uh think a uh, freemason not that it, it's a uh, free to sin but that you never know there could be architecture in space that's watching so you got to go with the flow of the essence while you embrace the joyful ecstasy of mother nature down the street full of flowers and bees cause i be out here doing yoga when all of a sudden a butterfly started fluttering Yo, I be breathing in clear oxygen like I'm on a good wave. Praising my life as much as I can considering the time. I might as well be spitting a rhyme. Cause otherwise it just be loco when I'm out here in the box state. Color And with that, we'll call it a wrap. Cause guess what? The bus is here. And guess what? You just made it to the land of milk and honey. So I'll say, have a wonderful evening. Peace. So, oh man, oh man, oh man. Here we are, beautiful boulder. I think around day three or four. And, uh, yeah, things are going really surprisingly really good, really well, because I came well equipped. And uh, right over here by uh, the mountains, beautiful boulder, there's a lavender plant right there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I think I have a game plan now as of now and uh i'd first of all like to say you know this is the abstract part of my brain if there is anybody out there who is digging and or projecting portraying a hell version of me with their spirit. Um, sorry, they're washing the road over there. With one of those road cleaners. Um, yeah, that would be really unfortunate, man. Because I'm like such a spiritual baller. Nick Descript. Um, yeah, man, because I love planet Earth especially. And the environment and nature. And, uh, you know, I may not have... I may have less of a home to some people. But um, I'm spiritually rooted. And you got to be careful what you do with the spirit you know thought 
all seeing, all knowing, the hungry ghost on this October 11th. And, um, yeah, I try to keep reality as peaceful as possible. So, basically, from here, my game plan is uh, I need to check my banking account. I'm pretty sure I still have a good amount in there. I pray that everything goes well. Um, I was debating, you know, so I'm going to look at housing here this morning, rooms for rent, and, um, go to the storage because I need to get storage for my stuff to survive winter and get into the shelter at night um it's going to be getting cold here soon and uh you know this is my game plan and uh on my body cam so I'll be sharing this at a later date and time and um I know God's watching, you know, God, you never know, God could even be watching right there through the camera and other uh, dimensions even, possibly, you know, you never know. I get so creative and descriptive that, who knows, maybe I'm a dimension translator, so, you never know, just saying, the, the leaves have cameras by Nick Haunting. So yeah, as you can see, I'm doing surprisingly well. Um, don't want to overuse my crack myself up, man. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's good to have a personal, you know, we all have them personal laughs and giggles. It may sound weird sometimes at times, maybe just inside or out, but, you know, one thing that I've always thought about is, I think that I've, I've had times in my life where it's like, um, oh, you know, you're saying too much, you know, like you got to, but then again, there's like times when people have like regrets, they're like, man, I should have said this, I should have said that, and, uh, I think that's one of the biggest things that you don't ever want to go to the grave with. I could have said this. I could have said that. And, uh, yeah, that's why I think it's important to get creative and use the spirit wisely. And spirit can be great creativity, imagination, not digging hell holes and judging other people, especially when it has nothing to do with them as far as they're aware and concerned, and yada yada. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good day. I slept well last night, been getting good sleep, and I am a very powerful spirit, soul, flesh, life, body, mind, emotional, astral grid connected being. And, uh, yeah, excited to hopefully get into a home soon and uh, get a job as soon as I can. And I'll have to figure something out for transportation to get around here and cruise around these streets like a cool person. That'll be nice. You know, have all the hot chicks waving at me. <laughs> What's up? You know, give me a heads up. They might even, I might even take a walk d down the block like a G just to see what's cracking, you know strolling on my longboard you know give a little stuck up you know heads up and uh i might even go as far to be like hippie healer of the woods say i and then they'll be like raising their hand oh nick the script i <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah i got this i got this unlock God showed me the plan. God showed me the way. I'm a light being. I got this. We got this. And I hope to share this with you all later. And thank you. If you've come this far on my journey watching this, thank you so much. Much praises and blessings. Peace.
Yeah, so here we are on day six of Less of a Home with your homeboy, Nick Descript. And, uh, battery low. Oh, man. And, uh, yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to charge my phone. Somebody's on their way down the chair. But, um, yeah. Things are coming together. And, uh, got a bike now. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful outside. So, yeah, um, I've still been enjoying this whole experience despite it being stressful recently because I've been really pushing myself to get a lot of things done. Uh, so I've just been kind of taking it easy today. I need to fill out applications as soon as possible. Um, I saw a cougar last night, uh, straight up for the first time, a wild mountain lion. Um, yeah, so I went into the deep into the brush down a deep dark trail and, uh, did my thing and uh, on the way back I sat under a bridge and uh, this is a swamp area next to it and I heard some rustling around and I looked back and there's a freaking cougar right behind me. It was too close. It was too close encounter. And uh, so I took off, man, immediately. I grabbed my stuff, made myself puffed up a bit and uh, just took off and went down the road, then went behind a street roadblock barricade thing up top and, and I still had a bad feeling. It was like I could smell it, like blood or like death or something. And then I was like, I better get out of here too. So I kept on going and then I saw it cross the road. And uh, yeah, my battery's getting really low though, so. Yeah, I've been doing my best, everything I can. Luckily, I got a storage unit now and a bike. And uh, dealing with the stress day by day, the street stress. And I think it'll all work out. And uh, yeah, so with that, you know, take another 24, especially by the mountains. And uh, I better get this charged up, so peace out, y'all. Much love. Family, homies, friends, those close. And love also as well those deceased. Blessings all around. And your helmet. Hey, what's up, family, homies, friends, those close and love? So, oh, yeah, I'm just out here. Older. Feels good to be back. It's been like five, six years since I've been here. Close to six. But uh I found this wallet on the ground over here. I don't know who it belonged to, but I'm just obviously considerably like paranoid out here on the streets, you know, these days. You never know. I was just straight in the bush right there. So I just figured I'd make a recording, you know, because trying to get into housing, these streets can be difficult. I make it look too easy at times, and, but anyways, I need to get me some gear to keep me warm at night. Anyways, seriously, blessings, I pray. Blessings for the world right now. Prayers in my life and forgiveness and appreciation to that which has been given. And... Yeah, I just pray that everyone has a really good day. It's so beautiful seeing the brick masonry around here, man. Like, that's an artwork, you know? It takes some hard work. It really does. I got the job skills. I got the good job credentials, no doubt. Anyways, like, I hope... I, like, I really want to get housing in Boulder, I hope and pray. You know, obviously God works in wonderful ways, but... Um, yeah, look at the beautiful mountains evergreens and uh yeah so i really pray 
that I get into housing soon, I got a decent, good amount of money saved up, so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, just, I appreciate, like I say, the forgiveness, blessings received, I really do, thanks so much, you know, thank you for the Bible and the Word and the spiritual soul of things, you know, anyways, peace out, I'm gonna put this in my bag, because I don't know where it came from or whatever, but I got a wallet that's kind of similar to it, but it's definitely not my wallet. It has like, yeah, yada yada. It's a lot different. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just put it back. Well, yeah, I have faith. Thank you so much, beautiful, loving God. For the forgiveness receiving, living, being in Boulder. Thank you so much, beautiful, loving God. I mean, look at this rig I got. This, this be my, this be the new pit my cart. TV series with your homeboy Nick Descript and uh yeah we're just out here surviving you know went shopping here at Rye got some uh, real nice green pants and uh made sure it was insulated sleeping bag recreational equipment industry I think is what it's called and uh I got some hemp jewelry here you know that's my get a rigged horn I mean whistle and you know and then I sometimes put the straw hanging out from the side there so you know I can just get a sip of water from my camel back backpack that holds three liters of water a megaphone some more hemp jewelry Colorado hemp macrame Hashtag Nick the Script. Peace. Love. Thank you so much, family, homies, friends, those close and loved, and also as well those deceased. Hello. Hello! Hello, 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 hello. This is your radio host, Nick Descript, and we're back with Shit Bullshit Radio. First of all, yo mama's so fat that when I fucks with her, I gotta run a lap. Dimension Translator.
<laughs> man, that homeless street life is already affecting my face, man. But thank you for the survival blessings. Praise God. Anyways, it's a beautiful evening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, street rich. No, I'm just kidding. I'm spiritual rich, even deeper. Just kidding, because spiritual things can be good when you have that good jazz just freestyling rapping what they gonna do be coming at me and then they say nah i bet's not because this guy got it all down to a puzzle g all organizing look at this g top g what's up good evening top g Well, survival blessings. Gonna go to Whole Foods tomorrow and um, uh, see if I can uh, order a uh, heat lamp. They got Amazon boxes in there, or I could send it to a family member's house. Thank goodness, praises. Thank God. So thankful they're still in my life as far as I'm aware. And, um... Yeah, hopefully I can fall asleep right here before it gets real cold. Anyways, um... Like I say, survival blessings. Thanks, you all. There could be other dungeons right up here at the top of these fruit blossoms in the treetops. There could be a top G turning into a wizard of the different color spectrum auras that resonate from our chemistry, living within the fine particles, watching over us as galaxies melting into the black hole of space in our solar system, Milky Way galaxy. What's up, family, homies, friends, those close in love? It's your philosophical hippie conspiracist, alter ego, uh, little Nicky, I guess, little Nicky hippie, little Nicky hippie. How about that? Yeah. Anyways, it's real philosophical out here right now. Feel those philosophical vibes? Whoa, man. Everything looks real philosophical right now. Must shall pray prayer for the camera. I've already prayed several. Um, but yeah, like, I just pray for good in the universe, the world, the earth, nature, all of its creations, and that I'm doing the best to protect all the blessings bestowed. Actually, I have been saying prayers on camera, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess, sorry, I'm out here in trip space talking to a tree, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> TMI, I know, right? Um, yeah, and several stars out. And I pray especially for my native love, you know, to be grounded. Um, 
you know, just good vibes in general, and so far, things are actually going really good so far on my experience homelessness here in Boulder, like, I pray for forgiveness for sometimes, you know, I get kind of scary, you know, because I feel like I have to protect myself, and, like, you know, that's doing stuff, you know, to just scare people like that in a bad way, it's not good because, you know, it, it does something to all the Earth's creations. There's something deeper to that that I was thinking, but I just totally spaced it out. And that, yeah, um, everything, yeah, everything goes well. And I get into housing and a good job, like, um, in a good living situation out here in Boulder, like, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get housing here in Boulder, that would be the coolest, and, you know, that's what the definition of prayer basically is, is, like, you know, I amen, amen, you know, is, like, so it be, we're sowing, so it be, and that's showing, uh, incentive, you know, just five blessings to live, to love, and I just pray that that good ripple goes around to all the, you know, earthlings. Because, you know, there's some scary places out there that can trap you out there in star space. And, um, yeah, I know I'm all good, though, and I'm thankful. Like, I say so much. Like, I pray for forgiveness. And sometimes I don't always communicate that in my brain all the time or out loud but um I do as much as I can you know especially out in nature when I'm out by my lonesome and you know I really think nature speaks you know and um yeah I, I love everyone and I'm doing my best and I'll try to be as good as I can repent and uh that's ch changing emotion to uh, something you know to change in your life and uh um yeah and you know that forgiveness takes time to an effort and that's why i got this nice rig right here this uh, 2024 cart with wheels and stuff and necklaces and backpacks and uh, it's got all the bells and whistles you gotta keep your rig nice and clean and organized you know and all that uh, mechanical stuff for the cart you know to make all the metal in it and all the square shapes and uh, yeah, hope everyone has a good night, and blessings, in Jesus' name, and God's name, and, uh, the universe's name, um, especially Mother Nature, and, of course, me, you know, I, one love, one love people, there's always a one love, one love people on every planet, and that's like Earth, I bet, because I bet there's a lot of Earth planets, I know, I know, right? TMI. Maybe I just have too much faith. Huh. But, um... <laughs> sorry. I'm just, I'm just playing around. Just kidding. Just, you know. Good jazz. Uh... Yeah, so... Sorry, I'm kind of lit tonight. You know, out there. In the thoughtful realm. Relaxing. Healing as much as I can. Um, consumed a bit of plant medicine, cannabis, uh, sense of milia mota, the herb related to mint and stuff, and lavender, and they're not plant family, and, uh, yeah, it's been, like I say, 14 months, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of 
some Medusa shits going on, let's just say. Because I'm kind of stoned, you know what I mean, man? Like, I got all this, like, long hair. And, uh... Yeah, it's important to pray for forgiveness, man, for everybody. Because sometimes, like, moments like this, you realize, like, hey, we're all guilty of committing different sins, you know, all across the world, you know, we're all going through our own hell, and that's why this bluish planet, you know, on the spectrum of the universe, and, um, that all that goes really good, and that if there's any, any, ever a problem, then you just can feel the faith to, like, maybe say a little light prayer, you know, um, like, dear God, I pray that everyone gets the help they need. And with that being said, uh, amen, amen, so it be, so and so it be. Thank you, family, homies, friends, those close and loved, as well as those deceased. It's your homeboy, Nick Descript, and, uh... Yeah, I have faith, man. I think a lot of good will come out of this, I pray. You know, I know we all have demons in our life, and I pray that that doesn't haunt me or anyone in a negative way or a negative force, because we all know space is out there, you know what I mean, man? But we all act like, oh, look at us earthlings on planet Earth being humans. Look at us. We're humans on planet Earth. You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so I just, I guess, you know, with that being said, you know, it's a prayer. That's, that's what it is. I knew there was something going on behind the scene with these Old Testament freaks. Caught you red-handed. Put him up. I mean... I'm just joking around. I'm just playing. I'm not like that crazy, <laughs> you know. Obviously, I love the jungle. But, hey, man, you never know. Like, some of those stories back then, you know, when people weren't aware that they were being watched, I guess, or whatever, with all the technology and stuff, I guess, or whatever. And, um, you know, some of that could be, like, real stuff. Like, they... You know, like, the the pyramid could have been, like, a maze for, like, a chosen one, you know what I mean? Like, crazy-ass stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so I just pray that, you know, I'm thankful that I'm here, uh, is all I'm saying, in Colorado, uh, 2024, Boulder, and, uh, hope to upload these later on sometime when I get everything situated, and, uh, yeah, I just need my laptop charger, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and then, or whatever, and I think everything will go good, I have good vibes about this, like I said, I think good will come out of this, and I will find my housing situation, and I will get a job, it's Boulder, I have good credentials, a pretty much clean record, as a, evidently in Colorado and I, again I pray for forgiveness because if I can go back to some of the sick shit that I did in my past man like that's not a good place to bring up you know like that's kind of like what they say in church that's what Satan does it's what the devil whispers in your ear and uh, every day is a new day every sun is a new sun every day is a chance to pray for forgiveness and love and uh bring forth, you know, baptism vibes, and, uh, I don't know, there's just so much that I 
pray about in my own time that a lot of people don't hear, so I just figured I'd take this time while living on the streets. I know some of it may sound crazy to people, and I have to realize, you know, where I'm at, obviously, you know, um, watch over my belongings and uh, everything. But uh, I'm doing the best I can, and I know God sees that, especially my God, my one God, and uh, yeah. Um, like, I love you all so much. I love you all. And, uh, yeah, I just wouldn't want to see anybody going on the deep end, you know? And so sometimes I think it's important to say stuff like this. And, uh, I hope that motivates people in a good positive sense, you know, because God gives us all free will. And um, that's the essence of godliness, is embracing that. And uh, I'm thankful for all the angels as well, also. And uh, man, this is just so much right now, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, like I say, I pray everything goes well and good. And uh, yeah, amen, amen, so it be. Thank you so much, God, Jesus. Beautiful, loving God, good God. God is my help. Thank you so much. Amen. Can I get a amen? Straight up. Fourteen months sober from everything except for cannabis. was 14 months over from this too, but no regrets whatsoever. I'd be walking around here, and I'm doing everything 100%. God tells me. <coughs> you can see. <coughs> doing the best I can. <coughs> only hit this a few times the whole entire day. But it's kept me calm and level-headed, and... I've been uh, doing a really good job driving this cart around, and uh, yeah, I just hope everything goes good, you know, sometimes things feel a bit rigged, you know, like them not having very many restrooms out here, uh, I gotta get some teepee in the morning, you know, and no, I don't like some of this shit. But, you know, it feels good to be out here in Boulder and, uh, you know, the beautiful downtown right next to Pearl Street. And uh, sometimes, you know, it feels rigged. You just got to realize, like, you know, it's not in everybody's court to judge. You know, there's a reason why a uh, judge goes to college and gets certified and, uh, I know there's a difference between being a judge and a critic. You know, sometimes we need some feedback. Uh, and me just saying that, like, I'm not trying to judge the judge. But uh, sometimes you got to understand the circumstances when it's an eye for an eye or a I love y'all type of thing, you know? Um, yeah, but... Other than that, I think, hopefully, I can get it into housing. Because like I say, sometimes it feels rigged. And, uh, yeah, I just pray that everybody's doing and saying the right thing. Because you never know what could somebody could have been through, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I may have been a little bit, I may have been very buck wild when I first got here. But I just knew, you know, entrances introductions make a big difference and when it's my life on the line on the street I gotta be like if y'all fuck with my shit y'all are dead you know what I mean just right off the bat you know you just walk in there like you're the craziest fighter and you're gonna win regardless and uh yeah with that being said yeah 
I'll take another 420, man. This is my plant medicine. It's like a sticky trap to the mother buggers so that I can digest them and just calm my shit, you know? And it's for healing. <coughs> for sure. <coughs> I just, uh, it's about getting close to four or five in the morning <coughs> um so i got some good sleep at the park with my new sleeping bag my new pants and uh glad i didn't buy that expensive jacket because i i was thinking i'll probably need it later but you know it wasn't too bad actually tonight and uh yeah sometimes i wish you guys could hear what i say you know, when I'm not on camera, because there's some deep stuff that, you know, that just comes out. It's always first on the spot, if you notice. Like that first right thought, you know what I mean? And with that, peace, much love, family, homies, friends, those close and loved. Also as well, unfortunately, also as well, those deceased, may they rest in peace. And live abundantly flourishing spiritually within the life force anyways peace praise the hierarchy of heroes sometimes you just got to rub that third eye, left and right. As you're looking at the leaves, blowing in the leaves, and you kiss the sky. Good jazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god please send the right messages my way to send me to the right places i need to be amen amen so it be Yo, it's Nick the Script. These streets be real, so I got to wash it in the light. You see what I'm saying when it just don't seem right. As I watch time fly by, meditating in the flag. so smooth when I take a stroll around the block to see what's cracking. So you gotta watch your back, cause you never know, even when it's perfectly sweet, when it's gonna uh, attack. But you got to be with ease, representing the third eye within your own mind. Finding inner meaning interdimensionally, you see, because everything costs an amount of things in all of our lives that we be going through constantly on the daily. So we pray, Amen, Amen, for things to sow within our, our life. It's your homeboy Nick Script. We're out here on the beautiful roads of Boulder near Pearl Street. We're about to cross this road right now. Look at all the beautiful nature out here. This is like totally like eye deliciousness.
few seconds left. Out. Look at this sculpture, man. I'm just so thankful to be here and go to Colorado. You know, I'm just trying to take a walk down the road and get a stuck up hose, you know? Did I ever think about that? Finger rolling rave dance. 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 The dog tag cross dropped.
Thank you so much, beautiful, loving God, for good life, blessings, and all this beautiful Mother Nature deliciousness. And also all the artistic masonry. Whoa, Mama. Woman run and owned since 1999. Title IX has been outfitting and inspiring women to take risks, both big and small, lead in their communities and seek their own adventures. Whoa. That's like totally how I know everything's going to be all good right now. I mean, come on now. A beach with a rainbow and all that good jazz and the waves and ripples and stuff. We all got our own hell we going through. Ray of sunshine to ray of sunshine. And the lifetimes of the solar rotations. That's why I'd be out here hacky sacking. Yeah. Boulder, baby. The mountains. Good jazz. This place is a home run, man. Thank you all. Blessings. Family, homies, friends, those close and loved, also as well, those deceased. Amen, amen, so it be.
Yeah, that's my rig. Thank you so much. My light workers, family, homies, friends, those close and loved. Also as well as deceased. spiritual God also find delightfulness in yeah so everything will work out you know a lot of you guys don't see some of the light work I do, and it's really good. And it's all about life and balance. And survival blessings. face on another morning it's just about six seven o'clock and um, yeah um, trying to manifest the road to success plan road to success plan road to success plan road to success plan Y'all have frequency to put off, man. You know? Like a wave of energy. Could be power, could be many things. Could be anything. And uh, that's what this river right here in Boulder. It's such a blessing to be here, baby. Amen. That's what this river represents, is hope. Man, it's a beautiful morning. Concentrated steps, knowing when to stop and when to go, and uh, yeah.
auf. Yo. This is Nick Nong Nick. Out here on the native landscape of Boulder, Colorado. And I'm hoping that I can get me a uh, current renditioning of a teepee these days and all that good jazz as I walk these trails amongst the leaves and its people and the current renditioning of society and um, nature and uh, with that, can I get a dang dang one love one love I know I'm all good. We know I'm all good. I know I'm all good. I'm all know I'm all good. We know I'm all good. We all all know I'm good. We all know I'm good. We all know I'm good. We all know we good. We all good. We all good. We all good. Cause I know I'm good. I know we good. I know we good, cause I know we good, we know we good. We can chill in front of the flowers, and that would be good. Watching bees buzz throughout the different na- pollinating sources of flowers in the essence of this reality. Wanna know why I know I'm all good? Cause that's my favorite grocery store, Natural Grocers. Yeah, I know I'm all good. We know I'm all good. I know I'm all good. Blessings and survival, dear. Got me through the struggle, so what you gonna do? Ain't got no fear these streets be real Peace, yo, family, homies, friends, those close and loved, also as well those deceased, you know, praises, appraises, you know, praises and the, the blessings of, you know, being alive, being able to just spit a rhyme and talk to God without being considered, you know, crazy-licious and all that, you know what I mean? So yeah, y'all have a wonderful, blessed day, and, uh... Yeah, life goes on, hopefully, you know, we all get good vibes, good jazz, good peace in the airwave, even within this own Aries, you know what I mean? So yeah, enjoy your day, and uh, month, and uh, space, earth, Milky Way, galaxy, experience, journey, trip, travel, uh, exploration. Throughout the, not just the nano world, but the, the world.
Dear man god. Man god, dear man god. I pray the things work out. I do. Out here. Evergreen trees. All in all, you know, especially praises, blessings. And yeah, once again, amen. This is how you use your teleportation to abilities while you're homeless. Make sure nobody's looking. If you use your powers and you're a light worker and they know, it does something. Just like that. How'd I get from there to there? To there. See what I mean? Want me to jump somewhere beautiful? Use my jumping abilities, let's just say. Elsewhere? Alright, let's go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? B E U E T. Full. This is how you open up a sunflower portal. Whoa, we're back again, even closer, just a little bit. No way, that's what they'd say. I know it doesn't all necessarily, may not add up to all. Some may not necessarily be able to add it all up how I got here but yeah this is life creative and homeless as fuck but hey life's good you know it's these beautiful mornings this beautiful sunrise solar rotation prayers Keep me going. It's empowering and brightening and sometimes too enlightening. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep chugging along. You know, I got hope, I have faith here on the streets with less of a home, your homie, Nick Descript.